104.5 The Team, your home for New York sports, your home for you Albany sports, your home for big board sports. Uh, the last two is where you'll find Zach By. Zach By with us right now. But instead of talking about Albany off the rip, did I happen to notice a certain Zach By courtside at the <laughs> Siena Saints Monmouth Hawks game? <laughs> yes, that was me. Look at you, I, little jet setter. I, 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 I was Ooh, I, well, Spike Lee. That was that was all all of our boy Nick Bonarigo who who wanted to uh, congratulate me and take me out and um and he took me and the tick the ticket said well, I said where we're sitting it said table and he brought me down and there's oh. like these little tables with your feet on the court that yeah. they come and like bring like bo- it's like bottle service type of thing it's really cool i felt like a uh i felt like uh like the upper cr- upper cusp of like the status so in other of, words like, for a hot so second. in other words nick bonarigo at mohawk honda i have to leave to get that kind of treatment <laughs> <laughs> i'm the only one staying no. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know congratulations zach by um when you you're you're leaving to go do a radio show with brandon stokely the slot yeah. machine Yes, yes, the slot machine. That is going to be. Uh, it's a. It's a, it's a super crazy blessing that is going to change life for my wife and I. And I'm. It, and it would. It would have never happened had I never come over here and worked with you guys at the team. I mean, it just. It just would not have. So as long as you remember that. A lot of thanks to go around. Seriously, and, and no, you're very talented. I Zach. love. I, 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 I didn't want you here because I was afraid you would take my job. But now that you're leaving, <laughs> I can admit you're very talented. I've loved working here. Love working with you guys. The synergy in the building is obviously. It's it's just so obvious that we love being around each other. Like even in this room right now, there's six of us here hanging out because like guys want to be around each other, and I love working here and will remember it forever. All right, before we get all mushy gushy here, let's let's go back to the Siena Monmouth game real quick. We're gonna have our goodbyes later on. Cause is like, when I leave, that's big news. Okay? <laughs> Siena you Monmouth, up, Zach by. you were there courtside. Zach the bye-bye. seventeen point comeback. What did you make of the game overall? It was guys. It was the it was the most impressive single performance that I've seen live since Jimmer Fredette. Wow. And and, and outside of that, um, I can't even remember another one. I mean. Without Nico Clareth, and this is not to disparage or be indirectly negative, without Nico Clareth, Sienna loses that game by double figures. Yeah, I mean, if anyone who had two eyeballs watching that game, um, it was very obvious. I mean, they were down 17. I mean, the kid took himself out in the first half. He, he was on crutches 48 hours before, didn't play the night before, and is on, cr- is on crutches and takes himself out of the game. I mean, he, he was immobile. But I did say to to, to uh, my buddy from the Times Union, I said that he doesn't need to explode to be successful. He's a great shooter. He can catch it and shoot it. Um, and that's what he did uh, seven different times on the perimeter. And Monmouth tried to change things up as much as they could. They put three different defenders on him from short little Justin Robinson to Who's the James Who's a bad kid. man, by the way. Robinson's oh, ba- a bad oh, man. Oh, my God. He is the baddest. If he's five inches taller, he's NBA. There's no doubt. I mean, if he's three inches taller, he might be NBA. Pat's also saying that he's hearing from folks that he's friends right now. He got, He's getting invited to Portsmouth, which is an elite group of about 40 college players that gets invited every year to be evaluated uh, by NBA scouts. So he's already on that uh, radar. But yeah, Nico, I mean, it was Nico. I mean, it was Nico. I mean, yeah. a, a kid who just put the whole team on his shoulders and, you know, I'll just be quite honest, and I, I don't. This is just me talking. I don't represent anyone else but myself right now. Nico's not the easiest guy to root for. He's <laughs> just he's just not okay. And if you've been around, you you understand why. This kid won an entire arena over. Yeah, it was un it was unbelievable. You had no choice but to just look around and just say, "Wow, I'm here for a historic moment." And not only did did he bury the shots, he ticked off. The Hawks so bad that the technical foul happens. I mean, he he took over that game 100%. That was a huge swing moment because the James kid got an and one yeah. on that play. And he's screaming in Nico's face. Well, now you they were, I think they were up like seven at that point. You had an opportunity to snatch every piece of momentum back from Sienna. But at the same time, everything you just get, get, did gets negated by your technical, which Nico shot. And made, uh, and it, it just it just turned everything back against Monmouth in a in a game where they couldn't afford to lose momentum. You know, playing in Albany as much as they like to enjoy that victory. It's twenty four hours now. They're going to be playing for the MAC championship on the Times Union Center court. Not technically their court. Their court got moved, but you know what I'm saying. The yeah, home court advantage is there. Of course, Iona. What can we expect in the matchup tonight? I mean, Iona came here and beat Sienna in Albany, and then Sienna turns around and beats Iona in New Rochelle. I don't. I. I have no idea what to expect. I, I. You could take a look at this from two different perspectives. You could say 
Sienna rides the emotion of it and cuts down the nets. And of course that would make sense. But you played at 9.30 on Friday night. Then you play at uh, 4.30, or excuse me, Saturday night. Then you play at 4.30 on Sunday. And then uh, within another you know 24-hour stretch, you got to lace them back up. Um, but Iona's play too. So it, it almost, like there's two different ways to look at it. You ride the emotional high and you cut down the nets because of course that would happen. But then the other way is you could have a letdown. You know, this is this is still a team that's now one game over 500. Iona's terrific. And Iona has owned Sienna for like six straight years. Owned Sienna. And they that's who's bounced Sienna out the last two seasons of the playoffs. So it's like one of these things where it almost feels to me like flip a coin. What are you going to get tonight? An exhausted Sienna team without Nico? Because I don't think Nico's playing tonight. Patzo said oh. after the game he's playing in one game. He, he gave us what he had. But I find that hard to believe. Right. If Nico shows up and it's like, Coach, I'm playing. I'm good. Like, I have something <clears throat> to offer tonight. You're going to not play him? Right. So, I mean, really, if, if you're asking me for a prediction, I think Sienna wins just because of what you said. The inherent built-in advantage of playing in front of thousands of people who are cheering for you. You know, I think if that's a neutral site yesterday, I, 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 I find it hard to believe that Sienna comes all the way back the way that they did. But when you got 6,000 people just behind you pushing your back with momentum, I mean, it makes it, you know, it's, it's like running with the wind type of thing. So Sienna, one win away from dancing. You, Albany, two wins, hopefully, away from dancing. Uh, you will be on that call for us this evening. Zach, by with us right here, 104.5, the team. Uh, what do you expect from tonight's game? When the great, uh, the other game tonight, the Great Danes play. Yeah, this is another win or go home. Your season's over. And Albany goes down the Stony Brook, gets a 21-point lead, historic fashion collapses. Then Stony Brook comes at, back up here. Albany's looking for redemption. Stony Brook just outplays them and wins the game fair and square. Now they go back down to Stony Brook. Tell me why. Tell me why Albany is a two-point favorite from Vegas. You beat me to it. That was my next question. I don't understand. It's hard for me to figure out. I know they had a huge lead there at Stony Brook, but we're talking one-and-done scenario, and it seems lesser seeded than Stony Brook. I know. It's one of these anomalies within, and I, t- I hate to you know boil it means. down with like gambling. Yes, I do. Yeah, you know it's one means. of these things where it's a trap. It's a trap to bet Stony Brook. It's like, wait, no, they, no, they beat them twice. It's at Stony Brook. Mm-hmm. They're getting two points. I'm betting Stony Brook. Tell me why 65% of the money is on the Seawolves and the line's moving in the opposite direction. Because the smart money. Think about that. Smart right. money, the shops. How insane is that? Vegas, the shops. Have they added a player on Albany that we don't know about? It's going to bust through and kick the door right. down? Right. So, so like, I've been saying for two weeks, I genuinely believe, and I've picked against Albany uh, more times than I've picked Albany in big spots. So I'm not looking at this thing through purple-colored lenses. And those who have listened long enough know that. Um I think that Albany goes down there and wins. I don't think Stony Brook's beaten them uh, uh, three times in one season. That's Will Brown Jr. right there saying that. You, know, <laughs> <laughs> you had to go there. <laughs> My paycheck is signed by Albany Athletics. You know what? I'm, I'm just waiting. Like, like when you're in Denver, living the dream, I'm going to call that show and just be like, is Will Brown Jr. there? Just a really inside joke. And, and thank God for a dump button. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I, I have to agree with you. I think, I think you, Albany, like – you know me. I follow Vegas. If the if the smarts, the sharps, are on something, and Joe Public's on the other side, I, I go with I go with the sharps. Yep. And 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 uh, it's 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 worth noting that Stony Brook has lost two of their last three games coming into tonight. And there's there's something to be said for that. Albany has just been on a roll. I well, think not to mention is it, is a little bit of it the the Will Brown factor. Like if Will Brown has this much time to game plan for you, he's gonna find something. You know, I I look at it like that because I've seen. Will Brown, time and again in big games, just outcoach people. And that's mm-hmm. nothing against Jeff Bowles, who was on Thad Mata's staff for years at Ohio State, and I thought he should have been coach of the year this year. Um, but Will Brown, it's, it's almost like we talk about, you know, Coughlin or Andy Reid coming off a bye. Will Brown has been in five championship games. Dude, it's 5-0. and oh. He's only been favored in two of those. He's been, he's been in moments like this. Uh, and the best part about Will Brown is not his – interview skills or his charisma or anything like that. It's X's and O's. It's that guy with the whiteboard, with the marker, and coming up schematically because his basketball acumen is amongst the highest in mid-major or all of college basketball. I I really believe that, and he's proved it time and again. I have a question for not just you, Zach, but also LeVac as well, because I'm not from the area here, and you both are from the area. Within the next five days, there's a possibility we could see Siena men's basketball, Siena, or Albany men's basketball 
in Albany women's basketball all in the NCAA tournament. What would that mean locally in the history of basketball and just sports in general in the Capital Region if that could happen in 2017? I mean, for me, it's I, I, it takes me back. You know what I mean? How many years has it been since both Siena and U Albany have been this good? And, and, and it's, what, six, seven years minimum? And then to, to factor in the women... I just expect the U Albany women to go though. You know, you just like expect them at this point. This would be this would be their sixth consecutive NCAA tournament, which is insane <laughs> because all the player you lost the you lost the greatest player in the history of the Capital Region and Sharisha Richards, all time leading scorer and the whole thing, and then you lost Zakia Saunders, who is a, a the the leading assister in the conference, uh, first team all conference. She's gone, and then just with a new coach and a new cast of characters outside of Amani Tate, here they are hosting uh but to, to go back to your question guys man what would it mean for the area i think it would be hysteria yeah, i think it would be hysteria yeah. because you know in this town we don't have pro sports but we got two division one programs who both do really well and both you know, one has a longer history than the other but the other one short-term history has been really really good in albany um i think it would be it would be unbelievable that said there's this team in Burlington, mm-hmm. who's got the longest yeah. winning streak in the country and is just a juggernaut. And I think if they run the table in the conference, which they have, and they win the championship, I think they're going to be in one of those 12-5 matchups that everyone says, hey, hey, watch out for these watch out for these catamounts. Well, just remember, too, that there was a team with the second longest winning streak in the country that went down last night. It's a great point. To Siena. I mean, I mean, I, what are the odds of that? That the right. two longest winning streaks in the country are, are both against little Albany. Albany and Siena's <laughs> rivals in their conference. Oh, man. Zach, bye. you got to leave, bro. I know. you got to get no, out of here. Get out of here. Bye. I'm out. Beat it. Go have fun, man. Get yeah. out. Looking forward to your call tonight. Thank you guys for having me on.